Hey y'all, today we're going to be making some homemade ice cream, but not the kind of ice cream that you grew up eating. <laughs> this is a little bit different. What we're going to be doing is making some cottage cheese ice cream. Now don't freak out and be like, oh, I hate cottage cheese. Okay, we're going to completely mix it so that whole texture thing that a lot of people have with cottage cheese, you're not even going to notice what it is. It's just going to be creamy, okay? You're going to want to use the highest fat content cottage cheese that you can get. So 4% would be ideal, like a full fat cottage cheese. But when I did my grocery pickup, they substituted mine for 2%. Now it ends up working out okay. So it was fine. But the higher the fat content, the creamier your ice cream is going to be. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So... I started out just adding a cup of cottage cheese in here because I was thinking small batches. But then my daughter and my grandkids were coming over because her husband was working. So they were going to come over and we were going to swim. So I was like, well, let me just make enough that we can all have some ice cream to eat, right? So I'm going to add some more cottage cheese in here in just a minute. And I'll show you in a minute how much I add. So for the sweetener for this, I'm using a quarter of a cup of honey. Now you can use whatever kind of sweetener you want. You can use maple syrup if you want. You can use honey like I did. You can even use an artificial sweetener if that's what you prefer. Or if you don't like any of those or you don't have any of those, you could probably make just, you know, use sugar. So what I did was I did about 14, 15 ounces of the cottage cheese. So I'm gonna make three different recipes of this in this video. So I use the same amount of cottage cheese in each one of them, okay? So go ahead and add in your whatever sweetener that you're going to use. Like I said, I'm just using honey. And it doesn't have like an overpoweringly honey flavor if you, you know, you're worried about that. It's just going to help sweeten that cottage cheese up. So this particular recipe that I was doing for this batch was my take on like a strawberry cheesecake, okay? So you're going to add in your cottage cheese, the whatever sweetener you use, and some strawberries. Now we're going to add more strawberries, but I didn't, you know, I wanted to have some strawberry mixed in with the ice cream. Now this little contraption I'm using, y'all, is my Ninja Smoothie Maker. And I mean, not sponsored or anything like that, but I love this thing. I was looking for something to make like my protein shakes in because my other one, I'd had it for so long, it, you know, it finally died on me. And I found this on sale the same day that I found my mixer. And this thing is fantastic, y'all. It does all kinds of stuff. I'll link it down below if anybody's interested or if you need a good blender cup or if you just need something to make this ice cream in. <laughs> but it's really, it's not very expensive and it works really, really good. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and blend this up really good. Now make sure, and I do it in the second too, but I didn't do it in this first one. Shake your stuff down to the bottom where your blades are because uh, the blades can't work very well if there's nothing touching them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, y'all know how I do around here. So mix it up real good. When it comes out, it's going to be, it's going to look like that. It's the consistency of yogurt. Okay, and you could actually just eat this, just like this if you wanted to, because it's really good. But, you know, if you use frozen strawberries, just keep this in mind, because I've made it before with frozen fruit. If you make it with frozen strawberries, it's going to be a lot thicker initially, because it'd be like if you were putting ice in it, you know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. If you're not using fresh fruit, you're using frozen, your mixture is going to be a little bit thicker. It's not going to hurt anything, but just know the consistency will be a little different. So like I said, I was going for kind of a cheesecake feel here. So I did my, cut up some strawberries and I also just broke up some graham crackers, just crushed up some graham cracker to put in there for the, you know, the crust in my cheesecake. <laughs> So, but, and you can use however much of this you want. I think I used like one and a half little sheets of graham cracker and just a handful of strawberries, but you can use a whole, whole lot if you want a lot more. I just wasn't real sure, you know, with the kids eating it, if they were going to like it or if they would prefer to not have the pieces in there. So I just kind of went on the light side of adding, you know, some of the add-in stuff, but you can add however much you want. It's not going to make a difference. So what you're gonna wanna do once everything is mixed up is pour it into kind of a shallow container and make sure that you have a lid or something that's gonna cover it because you don't want ice crystals all over your ice cream because it's not gonna taste very good. 
So dump it into your little container, just smooth it out the best you can. And then we're going to pop a lid on this and stick it over in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, I keep saying that. Or if I didn't, I keep thinking it. So you're going to put it in the freezer. The freezer, y'all, the freezer. Okay, so the next one, we're going to do the same amount of cottage cheese, same amount of honey. So we got about 15 ounces of cottage cheese, quarter of a cup of honey. This time I added a little bit of vanilla in. Now this recipe, and I'm adding a little handful of pecans, maybe not even a quarter of a cup. This one was kind of my take, like my favorite ice cream is like pecan praline. And so this was kind of, this is what I was going for with this flavor. So I added in the cottage cheese, the honey, a little bit of vanilla, and some pecans. And I wanted to get, because I wanted the, like that pecan flavor mixed in with the ice cream. But I also want some chunks of pecan in there. So, you know, look, there's suction cups on the bottom of that thing, y'all. And it was stuck to the counter and it did not want to let go. So, you know... I had to fight it. But anyway, I won. So go ahead once you get your mixture mixed all up and dump it in your bowl. And then we're going to add whatever our add-ins are. So I'm in this case, I'm going to add in maybe a quarter of a cup or so of pecans and mix that up real good. And y'all, you can do so many different flavors of this. You could do like a uh, some like mint extract and some chocolate chips and do like a mint chocolate chip. Or you can do like peanut butter and jelly. You could do just plain chocolate, plain vanilla, plain strawberry. You can, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Whatever kind of ice cream you like, you can make it. Just figure out what goes in it and put it in there. So once, now this particular one, like I said, I was kind of going for a pecan praline situation and obviously I didn't have any praline. So I decided to use some of this caramel syrup that goes like in milk or on ice cream or whatever. But I didn't want it completely mixed in. Because, you know, when you have like a pecan praline or what, like some of those ice creams that have like caramel in them, you want like a little hint of caramel. Like you want a little, you want some caramel. You don't want it to just be the flavor. You, does that make sense? Y'all know what I'm saying? Well, you can see what I'm doing. So I just kind of swirled it in there. And that way, when you, you know, eat your ice cream, you'll have just a little, little taste of that uh, caramel, but it won't be like a caramel ice cream. You know what I'm saying? So I let it sit in the refrigerator for, I'm in the refrigerator, I do keep saying that, in the freezer. This had been in there for about an hour and a half or so. And you see there were already ice crystals forming on those lids. So that's why you got to be really careful with this. So at this time, I decided to go ahead and take some plastic wrap and I'm just going to lay it over the top. Now, don't, I wouldn't do this as soon as you make it because then your plastic wrap is just going to stick, you know, to your... Your, your ice cream, your, you know, but this had had time to set up a little bit and it had, you know, kind of a, it was kind of hard on the surface. So I went ahead and just put this down there to keep as much air away from the actual ice cream as I could. So I just put a little plastic wrap on there and then I sealed it back up, put it back in the freezer. Now you're not going to want to let this freeze forever. Okay. You're going to only, you're not going to want to make this like two days ahead of time or it's going to be solid as a brick, I feel like. But if you make it a couple of hours before you're going to serve it, then it will be perfect. The consistency you'll see in a minute. So, like I said, my daughter was coming over with the kids and she brought me this little pack of Oreo cookies, y'all, to make one more flavor. So, I added in cottage cheese, my honey, a little bit of vanilla, and then I crushed up a couple of those Oreos into there so that it would be all mixed in with it because my favorite Sonic treat is an Oreo Blast. So this was right up my alley. So you're just going to mix that up, shake it down, like I said, and then mix it up real good. And then we're going to put this over into a bowl. And then I'm going to crush up some more Oreos in there and just mix them together. That way, when you're eating it, you get a little bite of Oreo. You know what I mean? So mix that in real good. Then we're going to do the same that we did to the other two. We're going to put it in a little shallow container, put a lid on it, pop it in the freezer. Now, when I took mine out, when it was time to taste test everything, it had been in there for probably about three hours and um, one of the th tips that I read forever ago was when you do these, 
stir it every 30 minutes so that it doesn't, um, you know, get the ice crystals or whatever. Well, I forgot to do that. But that's how long mine had been in. And you can see it was still a little bit soft in the middle, but the edges were good and it scooped out just like regular ice cream. This flavor right here was the favorite of all three of my grandkids, which was kind of surprising to me, but it was also my favorite. So make this, try a bunch of different flavors, try one and then try a whole bunch, do whatever you want. Let me know what you try though. So that is it for me. I will pop y'all another video over here and I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye y'all.